Hi honeys, so today I'm going to show you my best and worst makeup buys on TikTok shop. Some of these were sent to me, but a majority of them are purchased myself. I'm not going to lie, you can find some pretty good affordable makeup on TikTok shop. I feel like throughout the years now, you have a mix now. You can get cult beauty, like so many more of the high-end stuff now on there. But I think, you know, like all the beauty crop, the tarty lashes, those kind of like smaller brands, they're on there quite a bit and they have some bronze products. Okay. And I've actually noticed, I think you can, they stock them now on at Boots or like Superdrug maybe, but I just think TikTok shop is the best place to buy makeup. I feel like I've found so many amazing products on there. So let's waste no time. I will show you what is good and what is not good. And it does not need your money. Let's start with brows and the first product, of course, the By Ellie Brow Texture. If you have not tried this product, guys, I urge you, I urge you to get it. Honestly, one of the best brow gels out there. Just literally... I use this every day. Use it every day. I refuse to use anything else. The reason there are some really good products out there, but this just does not fail me. Doesn't leave any white bits. I did used to be really obsessed with the Refi brow gel. It didn't leave white bits on 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 my brows. Like I didn't have any issues with it, but it is on the pricier side. This is way more affordable. I've gone through tubes of this. Like I've got stock. They better never stop doing this. I'm coming for Ellie if they stop doing this. You. I don't know what the hell they put in this, but it's so good. Press it on the edge here because the ends of my brows are like the most stubborn. So yeah, just press it there and it dries so quick. Then the next product is the Maybelline Builder Brow. I used to, I don't even know what shade I use. Ash Brown. I think I kind of like the ashy brown. It doesn't look too stark. But it's basically a brow pen and it looks something like this. I never use this side of it. I just feel like it's a bit pointless. If they can just do this with just the brow side would be perfect. But like I kind of have to give it a little bit of a shake at first and then draw some brow hairs i mean this is coming this is on its last leg like it's not as clear as i'd like it to be but it really gives like that laminated brow look which i love it looks really natural and it's quick that's what i love quick, like when i'm getting ready for work before my eyebrows used to take the longest to do and now they don't another good one is the nyx micro brow pencil which i think you can also buy on tiktok shop i mean i could have done the inner corners a bit better but i need to get a new one of this because it's get it's it needs help and I kind of go back in because I need to fix this I don't know what the hell's going on there I move on to eyes one of the best purchases I've ever made is the P. Louise base eye base I use a shade rumor three it makes your eyeshadow look so good last so well on the on the lid and it just creates a really nice clear canvas for your eye makeup I did actually used to buy this on the website years ago but then they launched on tiktok shop so it's just way easier i have a broken i don't have a broken nail but like my gel has come off on this stuff finger so i need to do my nails so ignore that but i literally just go i mean i think you guys have seen me use this quite a few times but i just put a dollop on each eye and you can usually i use my beauty blender but i need to get a new one so i'm just gonna blend this with a brush and i don't like to swipe it i like to kind of like tap it into place you get the nicest coverage and it actually does come in a white one as well and different shades for different skin tones which i like but like if i'm going for like a wedding or an event and i'm gonna put some eyeshadow i usually tend to reach out for this rather than like a concealer because it really helps with creasing i find and just like making like metallic shadows and glitter shadows pop even more see how it creates a really nice canvas i'm not gonna use these because they're all dirty and i need to wash them but i bought a mange i think mange brush set they're basically like these hourglass brush set tubes and they're so good like the quality of these are so, i mean you can tell i've used them all um you even got like this help nose contour one i mean it's all right like i did a testing out video but i i really like the other brushes and it was like seven pounds it's so affordable so if you guys want to grab these i'll link them in the info box i'll I, I will try and put direct links to tiktok shop because that's where you get the free shipping most of the time like there's some offers and the prices are generally really good on there it's just easy i just love buying on tiktok shop so yeah anyways one of one eyeshadow palette i bought a few years ago on tiktok shop is the be perfect cosmetics carnival palette this is in collaboration with stacy marie i've used this so much look at all the colors you get and a lot of these look amazing on brown skin they're so pigmented so easy to work with i'm gonna first grab the shade fawn because it's just like screaming at me i want to do something a bit autumn because it is all because i actually do have another eyeshadow that i want to show you guys and i think it'll go with these shades as well i've used a lot of the greens in this palette the olives they're stunning you can see like how beautiful this is like blending already 
Okay, I think I'm going to take the shade. I think one shade that I think is definitely missing here is like a nice deep warm brown, which is a shame. But I'm going to take maybe the shade Pecan, just for more deeper shade. There is a very deep green, but that's not like the shades I'm going for right now. It's so pretty. I'm just taking that first brush and kind of trying to blend that. I just wanted to talk about these because these are amazing. The Made by Mitchell blush, liquid blusher in the shade Drip Drip. Every time I use this, you guys want to know what I have on my lids. You can create a very beautiful, like, stark, silver, glittery eye, or you can just do, like, a very subtle sparkle. And it just glistens in certain lighting, and it just looks so good but i'm not going to use this today i feel like i've used this in a lot of tutorials and we're not going for silver today oh i've literally just dug i just dug my nails in this help me is shame. this is the take two cosmetics pressed highlighter in cleopatra but this is so beautiful on the lids i actually did a medusa kind of halloween look and this is the eyeshadow i used on my lid and I know it says highlighter, I personally would not use this as a highlighter, but as a, as an eyeshadow, it is the most stunning thing ever. And I kind of just take a brush and just blend the edges to soften it. Okay, I'm just going to wipe that. I mean, this is not the look I had in mind, it's very bright. Hey ho, I just wanted to show you the, how good this palette is. It's one of those palettes that I reach out a lot for most of my looks. I'm just going to do my eyeliner. I didn't buy this on TikTok shop, but I'm pretty sure you can get it. It's the new Maybelline Firework Mascara. Guys, I cannot stop using this. The Maybelline Sky High Burgundy Mascara. I actually discovered this through TikTok shop and it's a really nice burgundy mascara. Like, it's very wearable. I think for the look today, I'm going to go for the black mascara. I mean, just look at that. Four lashes. I completely forgot to stock up on my most favourite lashes from TikTok shop and those are from Party Lashes. Especially the styles um, 90s Baby and Side Chick. Their lashes in general are so good and they're like really affordable i'm just gonna wear these from eyelaw these are three quarter length lashes you don't need to trim them they're just really easy to use i actually think you can get these on tiktok shop as well kind of just push the edges a little bit up and there we go oh they're just so easy to put on as well okay those are the eyes done very autumnal i mean an spf that i love it's kind of like a tinted spf so makeup slash skincare is the Garnier Vitamin C Daily UV Fluid, but the glow one. Guys, I think I've gone through three tubes of these and it's so affordable, it's good, it doesn't irritate my skin, it's not ashy, it's just, it just takes all the boxes for an SPF. Very brown skin friendly and yeah, I just really, really like it. I'm not going to put some today because I am going to wash my face after this, but it is a favourite for sure. Okay, now for the fun part, the base makeup is like my most favourite. I recently discovered the Tear Tear Cushion Foundation on, and it was available on TikTok shop. And it made buying this foundation so much more easier. It's more accessible. It comes with like free shipping. So yeah, I use a shade 31N. Um, but actually, because I already used this in a recent video, it, I mean, it's a good foundation. Like if you are looking for foundation, check out my review, but it's amazing. But another product that I've been really liking, I bought the... The Beauty Crop Dewy Bounce Radiant Skin Tint. I mean, they did send me this, but they sent me really dark shades. So I went out and bought it myself because I, I, you know me, like I love a skin tint. And it says it has SPF 30, gives radiant skin, it's got ceramides, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. And I have the shade Caramel. I've been wearing this to work because it's just so natural. I even wore it like for my brunch date with the girls recently. And it just lasted all day really well. Did you have no complaints about it? And the shade match is so good. <laughs> Literally my, my, my skin tone. I don't know, I just love like when my skin is like showing through. I don't know why, I just love that now. I used to be like full coverage glam. Got a massive spot coming. So yeah, I've really been loving it. If you love everyday skin like glowy makeup, I think you would really like this. Um, it's affordable. The shade match is bomb and I've been wearing this for work and it's very natural, I love it. We're coming to the not so great buys. So I bought the Beauty Crop Dewy Bounce Concealer that comes with, I guess, alongside the tint. I am not the biggest fan of this because it is very watery-like and very thin. 
And the coverage, unfortunately, like, it's just very minimal. The shade is really good. Like, this one's in the shade Dulce. Um, the shade's perfect, but the coverage is not there. So it's not one for me. If I'm wearing concealer, I want some coverage because I need it, okay? So a concealer that I really loved, I mean, I discovered this a, a few years ago on TikTok shop. It's the H&B Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. I use the shade SF 3.5N. I should be getting a better shade, to be honest. I always say this, but because this one's a little bit... It's not as bright as I would like it. What's good about it is that it has a bit of a salmon to it, like a salmon tint, which is really good at like counteracting darkness. Yeah, it's really good and it gives great coverage. I mean, H&B products are bomb. And I'm just gonna use a brush to blend that. It sits on my skin so nicely. Anywhere else where I feel like I need a bit more coverage. Slowly coming together. Oh my God, it was really hard for like bronzers because I've, I've discovered quite a few good cream bronzers. But I think one product that's really stood out for me is the Made by Mitchell Curve Case because you just have so many options. I bought this for £30 but you get a lot of product and you got, get a lot of shades in here but sometimes it goes for £20 which is insane. It's such a bargain. Blendability and the pigment of these is amazing. And I got the shade medium I believe. So let's use this. I kind of mix between these two middle shades here. I hope you guys are seeing how easy this is to blend. I'm just going to use my finger for the edges of my nose. You do get a bunch of shades in here, like Melon uh, melon Sorbet and Peach Sugar. These two here are like my fave, but I do really like Sweet Cheeks as well. I don't know, I haven't actually touched the this shade here, so maybe I might use this, because I haven't used that one. I do also really like the H&B Glossy Skin Bronze Tint, but this the thing with this is like, it's super glowy. So if you don't like glowy skin, you might not like this, but this, I feel like if I'm going on holiday, it's coming straight with me. And this one's in the shade five, which is like the perfect shade for me. Swatch is like, and you can see there's a bit of a shine to it. And you get so much product and they're affordable. There are plenty others, but I think I stuck to these two as my top. On to blush, I've really been liking the Glow Milk blushes. Uh, this one's a cream this one's a powder this is perfect for brown skin for like everyday work if you want a more toned down wearable blush where you're not going to get complete blush blind um this is really good let's show you a swatch here of the powder and then this is the cream it's more of like a peachy peachy pink yeah these are really good but i think i'm going to go with the the one in the curve case because i haven't tried this shade here and i've been really liking these kind of ready shades oh and a brush that i've really liked from tiktok shop is this one by made by mitchell i use this side for my blush. I'm just gonna take this one, dab any excess on the back of my hand, and just press it on the cheek. Don't need a lot. I feel like if you got this palette, it would last you for a very, very long time. If you're like a working makeup artist, this would be really good too. I mean, I don't know if this goes with the with the eye makeup, but hey ho, we are I'm I'm showing you the products. This is one of like one of my best purchases on TikTok shop. Now onto powders. One that I didn't like too much is actually they're both by H&B. The H&B Soft Focus Loose Powder. I found it was a bit too drying on me. I, I wasn't the biggest fan but the pressed powder, I don't know why, I really like it and it comes in like a very nice yellow shade that I like too. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? It's a really nice soft look and then you can use it to like just quickly set the rest of your face where you don't want it to be too shiny. This one's in the shade light, by the way. Now on to lips. Oh, by the way, I did want to talk about these. I'm not going to use them in this makeup look, but the Wonder Skin Coal Liners. I have the shade Kalamata and Olive. So, so nice. Very pigmented. They don't smudge. I'm like I have, I owe you guys a short swatch. I can't just talk about these and not at least swatch it for you guys. They're so creamy. It's so fun drawing with these because they're so creamy, but that's what they look like. Very, very pigmented. And once they set, they are not budging. So for lip liner, I'm going to use the Made by Mitchell lip liner in the shade Rich Mint. I like this one because you can like twist it up, but it's like the most beautiful brown. See how easy that was. I didn't have a lip product, but I did buy something new on TikTok shop. It's this intergalactic gloss in Galaxy, and it's supposed to be the most prettiest glittery gloss. I didn't get this shade, they sent me the wrong shade. But oh well, let's, let's just try this. Doesn't look good with the makeup. I'm gonna have to change it. It kind of comes off a bit 
cool and dark on her lips. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. But you can't lie, the glitter's there. I actually got the gold one, which I'm sad I didn't get because I feel like, I feel like it would have been perfect for this look. I like the look of this. I like the feel of it. I just don't like, don't like the way it's looking right now. Even those liners, I can't even take it off with the makeup box. Being so stubborn. I'm going to use this Primark matte lipstick, which I think goes really nicely with this look. This one's in the shade Sunkiss. Then I'm going to put a little bit of that gloss. I think that's way better. Like I have the sparkle there, but it's not as cool tone. See to finish the makeup look, the Amelia Olivia Times Beauty Crop Glow Milk Mist. One of the best affordable setting sprays. I mean, as you can tell, like I'm almost done with this. But I'm not gonna lie, this L'Oreal spray. Now, does it feel like hairspray on your face? Yes, it does. But does it do the job? It does. So it depends what you prefer. Like there is a compromise. Um, I don't feel the spray, hairspray like feeling after a while. It does keep your makeup in place. When I did the Billie Eilish kind of water trend transition where I had to like pour water on my makeup and do like a transition, I sprayed my face like crazy with this beforehand and my makeup did not move after all the like the water tries. So it does work and it's affordable. This is the final look, my loves. Most of it's TikTok shop, if not all of it to be honest. If you did like this video and you want me to try some more makeup from my, uh, TikTok shop, maybe I can do like a testing out more makeup from there. Uh, let me know in the comments. But I'm very, very happy with these products. Can you believe I've got just a skin tint on? Just got skin tint on. So yeah, I'm gonna head off guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you for sticking around to watch this video. If you're new here, do subscribe so you can stay tuned for other videos. Sending you lots of love and I'll see you in my next one.